What's up guys, good afternoon and welcome to Tokyo, Japan. Today's going to be a very special day. If you know me at all, then you know how much I love Harry Potter. Now, I'm not gonna say that I'm the biggest fan of Harry Potter because I haven't read all the books, but I have seen all the movies so many times and I love the series. When we found out that Harry Potter Studios was being built here in Tokyo and we were gonna be here a month after the grand opening, we knew we had to get tickets. Now, that was a little bit of an ordeal. All right, try number three. Third 11, time's a charm. 11.48 at night. All right, your estimated time is one minute. I hope you guys get to see this. It means all of this will have been for something and not nothing, which is what it feels like it's been for so far. Hey, Trey. What? Come look at my screen. This is the first time I've seen the screen all day. No. <laughs> How? I don't know. But we secured the tickets and we are here today. So we're gonna go and check it out and take you along with us and show you what it's like to experience the Harry Potter Studios in Tokyo. So let's go. Are you excited? I can't wait. I'm so excited for this. So tickets were 6,300 yen each, and we did not add on a digital guide, so it's 1,300 yen to add on a digital guide once you're here. We're gonna get one and kind of see how the rest of the day goes, but it's super nice that you can buy it online, but then you can also add it on while you're here because like us, we didn't think we'd want it. We've lounged around out here, walking around, and I can't wait anymore. So we are going to go inside the tour entrance right here and kick this thing off. Let's go. Well, that's weird. It's the first part of the first exhibit, and they've got Philosopher's Stone here when it's clearly the Sorcerer's Stone. So they messed that up. It's crazy. Not off to a strong start. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please. Hannah, please cut that from the vlog. People are gonna roast me for that. I understand it's Sorcerer's Stone in America, but Philosopher's Stone everywhere. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here in the first room, there are these huge billboards for each one of the movies. So me personally, my favorite movie is The Half-Blood Prince. But if you've got another favorite, a different one, let us know down in the comments which one's the best one to you. I love the drama of The Half-Blood Prince. It's like when it really kicks up to that dark mode that Harry Potter switches to, it's amazing. So that's my favorite. Let us know down in the comments which one is yours. This has been such an experience so far. Basically, they took us into this room, gave us some rules, and then we got kind of got to watch like an intro movie to kind of set the scene for what to expect on the tour. So far, everything has been very, very, very nicely laid out and very well done. Some of it's been in English, but some of it had just English subtitles and is in Japanese, which is understandable. We're in, we're in Tokyo. I mean, come on. <laughs>
Our portrait is complete. So there's an experience here where you can act like you're a participant in a Quidditch match. So we're going to participate. She gives instructions in all Japanese, so we're about to be really excited. I <laughs> have no idea what's going on. So far they do a really good job of like moving you through each room and all of the exhibits and stuff like that. I will say it's a bit confusing, I guess, for us because we don't really know what's going on. We're just kind of walking around like, oh. And the audio guide isn't loud enough to hear over a lot of the speakers and a lot of the people giving instructions on where to go. Yeah. So the audio guide is a little bit difficult to listen to. So in moments like this where we're waiting and there's not a ton going on, it's a great time to listen. Three, two, one. Awesome. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Victory for the people on um, Gryffindor. Andrew, we're on the losing team. So you can create your own Death Eater mask, if that's your thing? Ooh, that one's kind of fun. Ooh, I like the blue. Oh, okay. I guess that's mine. I wouldn't, didn't go fast enough. <laughs> Time to cast my own Patronus. Online it says that my Patronus is a squirrel, uh, but it also said that I was Ravenclaw and back there I was Slytherin, so I don't really know what I am. Sick him! Alright, I guess I'm a dog now. I don't know, I don't know. I've not taken any online tests, so I don't know. Oh, you haven't? No. You're a horse! Nice! nice.
Hannah's favorite character, Aragog. I'm just reading about him. I'd rather not look. <laughs> the lighting isn't super great in the Forbidden Forest, so we're going to keep it moving. Yeah. I'm just going to keep crying. <laughs> I've never seen the inside of Hagrid's bedroom. Yeah, I don't know that I have either. Honestly. I don't think the bed would fit him. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, he's way bigger in his bed. Oh, do we need a refreshment? Oh, butterbeer. Yep, we're getting butterbeer. A butterbeer for you? Ooh. Thank you. So butterbeer is 1,100 yen each, which is roughly like $7, 750 yeah. It's a little more than we were expecting, but you get to take home the souvenir, the mug. I think they called it a tankard, which I've never heard of before, but I guess that's like a tall beer mug. So you get to take home a tankard. This is my first butter beer ever. I've never had butter beer. Oh my gosh. It's super, is it super sweet? So sweet, it's like butterscotch, like a butterscotch, not even a soda, like butterscotch juice, because it's not even like fizzy or anything. It's not alcoholic, is it? I don't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> Also, a quick shout out to my parents, mom and dad, for buying us these butter beers. Normally we buy a coffee to start off our, our days, but today's a little bit different. We're getting butter beers, and my mom loves Harry Potter, and my sister loves Harry Potter. I think that they would be appreciative if we spent the money that they donated to our Buy Me A Coffee page on butter beer. So thanks, mom and dad. Whoa, that's sweet. Like, it's not really juicy. But it's not fizzy either. No, it's not. It's really good. My mouth's gonna be like sticky all day because this is definitely chock full of sugar so you probably only want to do one butter beer if you ever get it but it's really good a triple dog dare you <laughs> I want to I stay and see the rest of the tour. Okay. <laughs> She's like, if we go around back, you can see the backside of March. <laughs> <laughs> and she's right. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Strategery. Strategery. I think we need Dobby ears. No, I don't need Dobby. I need Dobby ears. I didn't see Dobby ears. <laughs> Throughout the tour, you're going to find these little shops that sell, you know, merchandise for platform nine and three quarters for this one, for instance. And there's just about everything you'd ever want Harry Potter themed or Fantastic Beasts themed that's pretty much got everything you want. But the big shop is at the entrance slash exit which we're gonna to get to in just a little bit, but you can always stop in here and get some platform nine and three quarters swag, I guess, if you wanna call it that. That felt weird. <laughs> This next room is the Ministry of Magic, and it looks so cool. Even from right here, I barely got a glimpse, but it looks incredible. Scan your QR code. Stay 
still. So I followed Warner Brothers Tokyo on Instagram and they posted this today, like four hours ago. And 16 years ago today was the opening day of Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix and the London Ministry of Magic scene makes an iconic appearance in this film and it's this ministry munchies and it can only be seen here at Tokyo Warner Brothers Studios. So the more you know, the follow, more you know. follow them on Instagram and us. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be, I don't like this one. <laughs> Yeah, you're Dobby. a big Dobby fan. So it looks like the broom experience is 2,500 yen. There's everything in here. Yeah. My word. This this shop is gigantic. It's so big. What's like crazy to me about this store though is it's not like they just sell like the cloaks and like some sweatshirts or some t-shirts like they sell outfits from certain scenes that you can literally look like you belong on set it's it's crazy they have every single outfit here one chocolate frogs should we get a chocolate frog yes we can pack it down we can actually use it and just like that Four hours later, we are back at the beginning. I definitely agree with them though that you need four hours to really go through everything and do all of the activities. We didn't do the broom flying one, but even that, I feel like it would go over four hours if yep. you were doing everything in it. Hannah, yeah, what's this? It's wizard's chest, Harry. <laughs> wizard's chest? Yeah, isn't that it? Chest. That's what I said. You said chest. Oh my gosh, whatever. <laughs>